All right, so tomorrow, the 18th of January, is Tilted Tower's fourth birthday. First seen in 2018. Can you believe that? Four years ago. So as you should be aware, the map has been slowly but surely melting of snow, and tomorrow coincides with the unthawing of Tilted Towers. So a lot of people were skeptical if Tilted Towers would come out on the update tomorrow, and it's now 100% confirmed both that we're getting an update tomorrow, plus that Tilted Towers is returning. So the official Fortnite Twitter account posted this. They said one more sleep, plus a picture of some towers. And then to make it a little more obvious, the official Fortnite status Twitter account retweeted that and they said, where are we dropping? The version 19.10 update is scheduled for release on January 18th. Downtime will begin at 4 a.m. Eastern with matchmaking being disabled 30 minutes before. So last time I did a video mentioning the possibility of Tilted Towers coming out on the 18th, a lot of newer players to Fortnite were very confused. They wanted to know what the hype was about. In fact, I can't tell you how many comments I got asking me what's so special about Tilted Towers. So let me show you some OG gameplay of Tilted Towers as I explained it. So you've got to understand that the Chapter 1 map was built differently. So Tilted Towers wasn't exactly in the center of the map, it was more left center. And one of the reasons it was so popular is because it had the most chest spawns at the time out of any other location on the entire map. And it wasn't even close. I mean, there were so many buildings, so many chests, so many ammo boxes that it was just a loot city. And if you compare that to something like Salty Springs, that had next to nothing. And it always has had next to nothing. But that was always popular as well. So number one, it had the most loot. Number two, it was the biggest point of interest there. So you could land there and expect to get a weapon right away or an item right away. Number three, because of number one and two, a million people dropped there. I would say sometimes half the lobby would drop at Tilted Towers. So you could play it safe, yes, and you could land somewhere on the outskirts of the map, but then you wouldn't see anyone till the end. If you wanted action, if you were a streamer, if you were a YouTuber and you wanted to see constant fighting, you would land Tilted Towers. Pretty sure there was a meme that said the average life expectancy for Tilted Towers was 2.4 seconds because you would land and you would die because there'd be so many people. Now, I, for one, I don't like that. I don't like to die right off the rip. But let me assure you, was it satisfying if you were to land on a good weapon and eliminate five, six, seven, even eight people right away? Yeah, that'd be awesome. What a great way to start off your gameplay. Eight kills right off the rip? So a lot of those kill seekers that wanted the high kill gameplays would always land at Tilted. And then, of course, you had the stream snipers. If a popular YouTuber or streamer was landed at Tilted, they would follow them there. So that would just increase the player count in Tilted Tower. So it all added up to the most majestic and iconic spot of Chapter 1. And so far, no other point of interest has been able to replicate that success. Now, I'm curious if this is going to be an identical Tilted Towers, or is it going to be a remake? We're really not sure yet. I'm hoping it's the OG location, but we'll see. Now, if it is the OG location, then it's more so in the center of the map now. It's not to the left center, which the OG Tilted Towers was. This one is smack dab in the center of the map. So you could probably anticipate a lot of people dying there and a lot of people going there just like in Chapter 1. Now, will it have the most chess in all of Chapter 3? I don't think so. I think the Lumberyard has the most chess, and I don't think Tilted Towers will even come close to that. A lot of the POIs in Chapter 3 have a million chess spawns, so we'll have to see. But you better believe that a good chunk of people are going to go to Tilted every single match. If nothing else, then for nostalgic reasons. So there you go. An update confirmed for tomorrow. If nothing else, it should be a great update just for Tilted Towers returning. So let me know in the comments, are you excited for this? Even if you've never landed there before, it should be a treat based on how many people are going to be dropping there. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. A like is always appreciated. And don't forget to use my supporter creator code, which is TaborTime.